Aries. What's up, baby? It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time, to let you guys know. And I'm sliding in with my best friend, Fat Man Batman. You already know he is in the building. Yes, indeed. We're here to let you guys know what is going on for the month of August. Shout out to everyone who has clicked this video. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you to everyone who has been liking, sharing, and subscribing, booking personal and private readings, sending support to the page. Shout out and thank you to every last one of you guys all right big hug and big love to everyone all right so um real quick uh let me just give some new deck announcements because you know y'all always sending love we got the soul's journey deck here we also got this amazing mystic murder um yoga yoga deck y'all listen check this out y'all listen this deck has like yoga move techniques and stuff like that and it also gives a spiritual message so this is the sleeping pose it says i speak my truth and allow the universe it's light wait i speak the truth and allow the universe to light my way oh my goodness my ass can't even damn read okay all right and that's some airy shit for real y'all always speaking y'all damn truth and y'all lighting up <laughs> y'all lighting up the way <laughs> On the way as you speaking your truth, you put everything on fire, but like you, you, and you, fire. Okay, what you say? What you say? Fire. What you say? What you say? Okay. Anyway, let me stop. <laughs> so, um, shout out to everyone who's been sending love. Um, I want to give a big shout out to, hold on real quick, real quick, real quick. I want to give a shout out to my baby, Miss D, who sent love through PayPal. I also want to give love to you. What is your name, baby? Hold on. Oh, which our uh uh craft and conjure. Thank you so much, craft and conjure. That's you guys' name on um YouTube. YouTube craft and conjure. My baby Miss D, and of course my baby Miss Callie. That always send love and support. Thank you guys so much for all of the love that you guys send here to just just thank you so much and if these videos resonate and if you guys want to send some love to the page you can also do so by clicking the about tab um, my paypal and my amazon wish list is there um if you want to book a personal and private reading my um booking link is the first link that says scorpion red tarot as simply book me again it says scorpion red tarot as simply book me just go ahead and click the link book with you um the type of reading that you want then make sure you link up with me directly afterwards because typically Whatever you book, if it's a couple of days out, the same day that you book with me, when I um, connect with you to confirm your appointment, if I have availability that day, I'm going to try to squeeze you in on that same day, all right? Because I know my calendar says what it says, but I make, you know, I work things around. So if you can ask anyone that has done a personal reading with me, they most more than likely unless they wanted it to be out on that scheduled day because it was their birthday or something they always get their readings on the same day so y'all make sure that y'all connect with me my instagram link is directly under the booking link if you don't have instagram you can download google hangouts you can connect with me with my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com just send me a message um so after you guys book either on um google hangouts or on instagram just send me a message and say hey reds this is so and so i booked with you on this and that a day and and then I'm going to connect with you and we're going to rock it on out. If you don't want to get on camera for the video chat session, and if you want to pay for a just direct upload, if you want to send me your question and you want me to record the video just like I'm doing right here and upload it, uh, or a private upload to YouTube, there's an add-on in the menu. You can use that add-on to um, have a direct upload or you can use it for a recap. So basically what that means is for the people that I'm having the live reading with, I can record the whole reading session and upload you a private link to the video so that you can go back and look at the recap and enjoy for your own visual pleasure and go back and watch the uh, reading that you just experienced. So um, if you guys have any questions, you always can email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. And again, thank you guys for all the love and support. Let's get into the reading for my beloved Aries. Let's get into it. I'm already grabbing cards. Hold on. Let me do my prayer. Excuse you. Excuse you. Back up. Back up. All right. Father God, thank you so much for your... <laughs> 
uh, for your blessed hand. Thank you so much for putting your hands on us, Father God. Thank you so much for uplifting the sign of Aries. Thank you so much for giving us strength. Thank you so much for giving us wisdom. Thank you so much for giving us courage and standing and speaking in our truth and honoring ourselves and honoring our path, Father God. Thank you so much for ordering our steps, Father God. Thank you so much for giving us the strength to take steps every day to walk towards our path and stay on our path. And that is the hardest thing to do sometimes is to walk the path and stay on the path. But Father God, we've been on our path, Father God. We have not walked off the trail, you know. And Father God, I, I really do feel like that is the most inspiring moment for us you know like sometimes people value um material things and we're getting to the point where it's we're getting more fulfilled just by the accomplishments that we're making in our life and reaping the rewards from our accomplishments and things that we never thought that we would be able to do and it don't even have no ma ma material value it's more of a spiritual value and it makes us feel more rich <laughs> than anything and than anything money can buy just being able to tell certain people no and being able to not entertain certain situations and you can do it with your head up and you know it, it, when, when normally you would have did it you know what I'm saying like just knowing that you change, Father God, I swear, like, that's something that money can't buy, Father God. And we thank you so much for enriching our life, Father God. Thank you so much for our healing and our growth. <sighs> if we could hug you, Father God, we would, you know. I swear, I swear we would, Father God. You are an amazing God. Thank you so much for giving us this path. Our, our footsteps, our blessings have been ordered in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Please give us guidance for my beloved Aries, because you know I love him. <laughs> Lord, you know I fight hard with my Aries. My <laughs> Y'all know I got my, my Aries love. You know I love my Aries. But Father, we fight hard, but we got darn love hard too. Thank you so much for loving us, Father God. We know we could be a pain in the butt sometimes, but thank you for never giving up on us and loving us eternally. Mm, you are an amazing God. Give us guidance. Give us guidance for my beloved Aries. Ooh, I feel y'all energy all over me. Come on, Aries, stop touching me like that. Ooh, y'all. <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all Aries is terrible. Come on. Yeah, strange love. What? Love coming strange things. Come on. Come on. Come on. Aries, keep it there, please. That strange love. Mmm. I'm feeling that energy, Aries. I feel like y'all wanted to hug me for that prayer. Yes. Keep it there. We're going to keep that energy right there. Okay. So let's see what we got going on for the month of August. For my boo. Nuh uh. Nope. We're not doing it. Should I just take the one on the top or do another shuffle? Kalima. 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 Shakti. <laughs> Kalima Kalima listen to my Aries friend I told him Kali was coming for him one day I told him Kalima 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 Shakti <laughs> The death car honey Don't be scared be prepared. That's all shit. Listen, if you stay, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Now do ya? Now do ya? Now do ya? Okay. Now listen to me. This is what I'm trying to tell you. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, baby. Kylie, when she comes through, it is something that you know needs to get out of your life. It has no place. It has no value in your life anymore, and it's still lingering for whatever reason. And you have had many free will chances to remove and get rid of these energies, but yet you're you're stagnating on on, on just getting rid of it. So this is Kali coming saying, baby, um, we're gonna have this talk one time, and a conversation that I'm gonna have with you is basically I'm gonna give you three more chances, one, two, three more times the charm. You know, because I understand things are hard to let go of. I'm going to give you a few more chances to do this on your own. Now, if by that third chance, if you are still unwilling to take this transition, 
in your life that you need to take. You know, then that's the death card. And that's when I come in. You know, and like I said, sometimes, you know, y'all be y'all be praying. Y'all be like, God, can you take this from me? You do not want the gods to come in and take it from you. Because when they come through, it's going to be pure destruction and mayhem in a level that it would have been a lot of easier if you would have just did it yourself. You understand? So, and I'm not I'm trying to scare you guys at all. It's a calm conversation because... She's a beautiful person. She's a beautiful person. But you got to understand her nature is death and rebirth. You know what I'm saying? She's here to push you to your greatness. You know? To push you to your greatness. It's all in love. But you see those scars around her neck? Those are the heads of souls that she's released because they were hard-headed. You understand? And they didn't listen. So she's asking you kindly, baby, please listen. I want you to do this on your own. I believe in you. You're not hard-headed like the souls that are, I collect around my necklace. You understand what I'm saying? So if you truly look up the deity, because this is a real deity. This is a Hindu deity. I believe Hindu. A Kali Ma. And if y'all remember uh, the, uh, what's the? Um, the Temple of Doom, Indiana Jones, you remember when the man is reaching his hand in the heart and he's saying, Kali Ma, Kali Ma, Shakti De. This is who they're talking about. She don't play, okay? This is like the Grim Reaper. If you watch uh, American Gods, Kali is the lady that owns the diner that has the sword. She has the mini, she has four arms, and in each arm she has swords where she chops people's heads off hard-headed people that don't want to listen okay they don't want to change they don't want better for themselves if you don't want better for yourself i could release your soul and you can go and make your transition in another life you know what i'm saying now it's not that literal that's the story of kali ma you understand she does chop the heads off of hard-headed people that do not want to change in this realm if you do not want to change in this realm you got to realize that we are just spirits living a human life right now if you do not want to make the changes if you do not want to complete your mission in this life she will cut your head off and she will she will put your head around her necklace she will release your soul so you can go be a butter, a butterfly or a bee or a tree and try again you know so I want you guys to heed her warning and she's asking you nicely you know what I'm saying from death comes rebirth so I'm not trying to hurt you by trying to tell you that you need to stop doing what you're doing stop entertaining what you're entertaining you know what I'm saying to change I'm not trying to harm you I want you to be better I want you to truly be on your path you know what I'm saying you are on your steps have been ordered you're on your path but it's something that you have to release it is something that you have to release and hold on let me read from the book real quick because i'm being urged to read from the book hold on kali working with kali is extremely is extremely powerful but it is work we all do and must do if you have drawn this card you are working with the energy of fire of the dancing mother goddess who will teach you how to go through the changes that you have been resisting and feel was too much and who will purify and change everything you must not stay with this energy movement is essential if you're working with her and her fierce nature is in fact a test of your own strength can you do what needed to be done and still dance can you rejoice in the purification of stale energy can you walk forward without hesitation can you say yes to what will come for you on the other side of Kali's fire and will you wear your lessons proudly as does her necklace and know that this death is an incarnation within an incarnation a new life within this lifetime born of fire and you are indeed born of fire are you not are you not it is time to be that of which you are you understand <laughs> you are fire <laughs> come on 
Come on. Kali Masa, stop playing. Stop playing, baby. Give me guidance for my Aries. Kali. Kali Ma. Give me guidance. Give me guidance for my Aries. What's this here? The Nine of Cups. You are emotionally fulfilled. Uh, come on now. You're having a moment of emotional success right now. But I just feel like there's something in the financial realm where you feel like the seeds you planted aren't necessarily growing right. <laughs> okay? In the in the financial, uh, emotionally you're good. You feel like your payoff could just be a little bit better. But you're not, you're not bad. You are really, really good. I feel like you've learned a lot from things in the past. The tennis, the tennis swords. Okay? So... You feel like someone betrayed you a little bit in regards to some type of financial endeavor. I feel like you can't get this off of your mind. And it's like you're at the tail end. I feel like because someone did something to you that was unjust right here with the seven of coins. What is this? The death card, Kali, the four spades, the four spirits. Hmm. Hmm. I slightly want to feel like you guys want to end a commitment. I don't think you want to end a commitment. I feel like you want a solid foundation. You guys want a solid foundation, but it's something that ain't wrong with right. Mentally, no, y'all want to end this marriage. Y'all want to end this marriage. You're not being recognized. I feel like the six is the six of spears in reverse. You guys are not being recognized in the way that you want to. And the nine of spears. Your guard is down. Temperance. There you go studying again. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. Okay. You guys are emotionally fulfilled right now. In regards to a lot of things. Because I really do feel like. Aries has come a long fucking way. You guys have come a long way. And I feel like right now, you know, on your own, you know that you could do things good on your own. The thing is, I feel like you invested with something with somebody. Could be a relationship, could be a financial endeavor. I slightly want to feel like it's a financial endeavor, but looking towards the end, I feel like this could be some level of commitment. Okay, it started out feeling really good, but then after a while, you realize everything that you thought that you were going to get out of the situation isn't necessarily being presented to you, and you feel like these people lied to you, you feel like they betrayed you, like they play games with you, and you don't like. <laughs> being played with especially not mentally and damn sure not with your money damn sure not with your money you still feel good though because at the end of the day they don't know who they're playing with the nine of cups can represent someone that is very smug someone that hmm can be emotionally calculating. Do you understand what I'm saying? This person has studied many books. They know many people. They know how to play every position of the field. Do you understand? This person has studied every book in this library. They are a, lo a walking library. Do you understand? And the, and the fact that Aries studies people and they know people and they know how things work. They know how people tick. They know how the things... You know how they know how to maneuver around people emotionally to kind of get them where they need them to be. That makes this person feel smug and emotionally fulfilled. Because it's like you might not have wanted to fuck me over like that. 
because you're laugh now, cry later. You know, because at the end of the day, I might have took a short and you might have got me right now. But bitch, don't think that I forgot. <laughs> don't think that I forgot. Because I'm going to come through like the Grim Reaper and shut down anything that you thought that you was getting away with. Aries feels like someone was getting away with something. Do you understand what I'm saying? Aries is getting a little bit impatient on waiting for their piece of the pie. You know, this is someone that is... Like, this is someone saying, oh, I know that I owe you $1,000 and stuff like that. Look, I'm going to give you about 400 right now. I'm going to give you the rest of I'm going to give you the other six in like two weeks or whatever. And Aries wait the two weeks, right? Aries waits the two weeks. Because they're just like, you know, I know I know the work that I put in. I know, you know, I know, I'm, I know this person ain't going to fuck me over. This, this, this person is not that dumb. Because they already, they not that dumb. They already know not to play with me like that. You know? <laughs> two weeks came. Aries say, Where's my check? Oh, you know, like, I just got to go run to the bank. Every side, oh, no, 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 bitch. Ain't no running to no motherfucking bank, bitch. Ain't no running to the motherfucking bank because you think you about to play with me, bitch. How about, how about, yeah. This is Aries walking up on you with the spirit behind your back. You want to walk to the bank? Yeah, bitch, I'm walking with you. I'm walking with you because you think you about to fuck with my foundation. Do you, 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 you think you about to fuck with my foundation? I do feel like someone, like Aries is not being paid their worth. They're not being paid their worth. They're not being paid their worth. And they're going to get shit fucked up. They're going to get shit fucked up. And it's like, someone is playing with your foundation. Someone is playing with your foundation. Someone did something very deceiving, very manipula manipulative, you know, where you weren't able to receive the recognition that you were supposed to receive in your own house or your own job or, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. And if this is not a work situation, if this is not a work situation, this could very much be a home situation, you know? This could be a home situation where you might be feeling emotionally fulfilled. Because even though you know you didn't get what you bargained out of the situation, these people betrayed you. These people did something that you'll never forgive. So the fact that you are ending and cutting this relationship out and no longer giving this person recognition... And as many times if you as fought with this person, you'll get your ass up and fight again and stand your ground with this motherfucker. This is not backing the fuck down. Like, I'm not backing down. I'm not backing down this time. You know, I've been through this many times enough. I've studied this situation. I've studied you well enough where well, I'm not going to let you knock me off balance. You know, I'd rather get rid of you. I'd rather get rid of you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And start all over again. Kali Ma. I'd rather get rid of you. 13, 13. Death card. I'd rather get rid of you. Okay? Y'all are in some Scorpio energy right here, baby. Y'all in some Scorpio energy right here. Or y'all could be dealing with a Scorpio. You know? But I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like that. I don't feel like y'all are dealing with a Scorpio. I definitely feel that y'all are in some life and death type of shit right now. You know what I'm saying? It's either someone at your job is doing something where they're playing with your money and they're playing with your foundation and it's like you gotta take care of your home. Either you just moved into a new home, you just got married, you know what I'm saying? And people are not trying to give you recognition at the job and stuff like that or I don't know. Or maybe you just got married and you feel like as soon as you moved into this house and you got in this, in this commitment, something changed real quick when you weren't being recognized the way that you were. And you like, hold on. You like, hold on. Hold on. Now, I didn't sign up for this. I did not sign up for this. 
this is this is this is not what I bargained for. This is not what I put all this hard work in. This is not what I was planting these seeds and stuff like that. Trader. So this is having someone. I feel like this is someone who I've just got married, just moved into a house, just committed themselves to somebody. Cause that's only seven pinnacles. That's not like a long time. That's not a long time. That's not. That's not a ten of pinnacles investment. This is someone that put enough time in where they felt like for me not to get what I deserve. It's traitorous. Give me more information. Someone is going to get in the crash that they deserve. In their own home and their own foundation, it's like they're not getting the credit that they deserve. And it's like, I will not take this talk. I will not take this slander. I will not take this. I will not take this abuse. Give me guidance. On the Nine of Cups. The Five of Hearts. Okay. The Five of Hearts represent, I believe, the Divine Feminine. I believe it represents the divine feminine. It represents feminine energy. So I feel like there was like a love. You guys felt emotionally fulfilled because, you know, you got a connection with a good feminine energy here. But it just seems like. Hmm. Let me clarify that just to make sure I'm not tripping. I believe the five of hearts means feminine energy. Divine feminine parts. Yeah, feminine energy. The five of hearts represent feminine energy. The woman's faults, frilly things, knitting, sewing, girly, female sexuality, intimacy, tenderness, holding hands, physical displays of affection, right hand, the right sided, doing right, being right, being truthful, fair, just. A desired opportunity, a proposal which bring happiness and success. Satisfying one desires, fulfilling a dream. So I really do feel like this could be a Aries male energy or this could be an Aries female energy where you guys were feeling emotionally fulfilled. You guys were feeling emotionally fulfilled because you found somebody that had that, you know, that girly like that feminine energy that you love but for some reason for some reason no matter what you did like i feel like this person wasn't giving you it, the output that you were getting back just wasn't what you was expecting and that's why you feel like it was treacherous like traitorous and it's just like you know if i gotta cut you out and if i ain't gotta deal with you i won't because i want marriage I want commitment. This is someone that wants marriage or wants commitment from this person. And it's like, I finally found the one that I want to be with. You know what I'm saying? I finally found this girl that emotionally fulfills me that, you know, throughout all my studies and everything that I learned, like this one is the one. But I just heard she devalues me. It's like she doesn't see my value. It's like, I, you know, this person said this. She does not see my value. She does not see my value. She doesn't believe in me. That's what I just heard. And that's why, you know, it's like, how could you look at me like that? You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's like that, then fuck it. Because I want commitment. And if you don't want commitment, and if you're not going to recognize me, and if you're not going to respect me, if you don't want to be out in public with me, if you don't, you know, if you don't, if that's not what you want, I'm not going to, you know, like this could also be someone that wanted commitment and the other person didn't want that level of commitment, didn't want to recognize that person on that level. And then it's like, well, okay then, you know what I'm saying? Fuck that shit. I'm going to put my guard up and I'm going to stay on my ground with that shit. I ain't backing down on that shit. I'm not going to let you and your bullshit throw me off balance. I motherfucker just cut your ass out. I'll cut you out. So it looks like this is a love situation. It could very much so be a business situation. I surely see this being someone playing with someone's goddamn money and business. 
And they're like, man, I got to focus on my fucking family. You're going to give me the respect that I deserve for this work. And I'm standing my ground on this shit. I know my worth. I study my crap. I study every book in this goddamn library. I know what the fuck I'm doing. You're not going to undercut me, you know? So give me some guidance on this. This death card and this four spears, this four of wands, this celebration, this being rejoiceful, this, you know, reconciliation, this marriage, this union, this commitment, the king of spades. All right. Now, the king of spades now. This is someone, now listen, this is a very handsome, very good looking motherfucker. Now, now listen to me. Nice ass body. Honey, what I'm trying to tell you can talk you out your pain. Tease. And what I'm trying to say, you can slay you down in the bed. <laughs> y'all, listen, if y'all been with an Aries man, you already. <laughs> in the name of Jesus, you already know what I am talking about, honey. I tell you no lie. But this person, he don't listen. He could be some damn trouble. He could be some goddamn trouble. He could be some motherfucking trouble. Because he can be opportunistic. He can be opportunistic. You know? And that's why um, Aria, you know what I'm saying? She got she got her little, uh, what she called her little, her little sword needle. That's why she got her needle pointed at him. Like, I don't trust you, bitch. I don't trust you around my home. I don't trust you. For some reason, let's see what's going on with James. Clarify. The five of spades. Wow. Wow, yeah. This is literally like a transition like this is this is this is the death card you know what i'm saying like you guys are you guys want this person out of your life you feel like this person is emotionally manipulative they're calculating they're detached you know what i'm saying they're a liar they're you know like everything bad you know what i'm saying looks good but ain't good for you you know what i'm saying and you have to you've been through too much conflict you really have to change the way that you deal with this person. You really do. You know what I'm saying? And this is a card of movement. So this is literally you trusting yourself to adapt to having to make this change with this person and standing your ground with this person and cutting this person out of your life and getting this person out of your life for fucking good because you know that this person doesn't mean you no well. You know this person doesn't mean you no well. This person comes around offering you commitment but don't give you the recognition and you like, you know what? I don't have time to keep playing this game with you. I done, I done been through this shit with you before. I ain't doing this. It's traitor. You done stabbed me in my back ten times over. You not, uh-uh. I wish I would. No, I wish I would. I promise you I won't. I promise you I won't. Let's 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 break this on down. Let's break this on down. King of Spades, baby. The King of Spades, a man of authority, of ambition, of power. He could be divorced or widowed, an older man, a leader, a lawyer, a judge, a police officer, a health specialist. He could be from a foreign country. He can be arrogant, opportunistic, deceptive, cold, calculating, shrewd, possessive, emotionally controlled, detached, and his arrival in a business or in a love situation. So this could be the other man on the side. Do you understand what I'm saying? The other man. Okay? All right. The five is traditionally a card of anger and loss. Um... Ooh, it's the symbolic meaning of holding a knife, like being stabbed in the back. You know what I'm saying? The five of spades denotes cutting someone or cutting someone out of your life. It can also denote a surgical procedure, a divorce, quitting, leaving, going out it alone, loss, fear of abandonment, loneliness, depression, separation, accompanied with grief and pain, sorrow, tears, the left handed, the left hand. So the right and the left remember 
the right and the left. Baby, 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 baby. baby. So it looks like we have some positive female energy here, you know? Hmm. Hmm. I want to say that there's a female Aries that may need to cut out. That may need to cut out a side. I want to say that. It's either this person has someone on the side and they got a good man. Listen, they got a good man. They're emotionally fulfilled and they got a good man. Okay? And this one keeps them balanced. This one keeps them happy. This one knows them. This one loves them. But I feel like you might not be able to invest your all in a situation where it can grow right. I'm, I'm really picking that up now now that these cards are coming out. And it's like, you know you have to end this shit. You know that there's a traitor on the premises. You know you have mentally that you have to, with this death card, end this shit with this other man. With this other man. Because you don't find someone that respects your, your energy. Your divine feminine energy. And you know you got to end this shit. Because you have commitment and marriage on the table. But you are not going to be able to fully recognize this person. And give them the respect and the commitment that they deserve. If you don't stand your ground and get balanced. And, and, and end this shit with this person y'all. Clarify the fire, but um, wow. I hear the song in the back is too many reasons. The Joker, yeah, the Fool card, the Fool card. Like this is like, this man is injured. Yeah, it's okay. So listen. You know that even though it's going to hurt you bad at shit, it's going to hurt you like shit having to cut this person out. Because I feel like you could have been dealing with this person for probably five years. You know what I'm saying? You could have been dealing with this person for about five years. This 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 person has been in and out of your life. Because I feel like this person has been in and out of your life. And you finally found a good man. And it's going to hurt you like shit. But at the end of the day, you're going to get the physical success. Do you understand a 10 carat diamond ring. You're going to get the marriage. You're going to get everything. You got to really cut this person out and stand your ground on this one and really be serious about it. Or you might miss out on a good opportunity of a good ass man. Don't be no fool because you're going to hurt yourself in the long run. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is an action card. This is a movement card. This is going on faith. This is going on your intuition. You know. Ten of diamonds. Let's let's verify ten of diamonds, you guys. Ten of diamonds. You know that this one is going to amount to the success that you fucking deserve. Ten of diamonds. Satisfaction. Success with money. Financial security. A large sum of money. Material wealth. Riches. Freedom from financial worry. Speed. Fuel. Nuclear, nuclear energy. Spiritual energy. A flight. An airplane. The wind. Do you understand? Like, this is a... A windfall romance, like this, a world, like this is like a, this is a once in a lifetime situation, especially this business situation. If this is a business situation, it's like, man, I put in too much motherfucking work for this shit, for this, for this, for me to not to get the ten of diamonds. You know, I'm going to get the satisfaction out of this because I put the fucking work in this shit. You're not about to take credit. You're not about to take my credit and undercut me. Okay, and you guys might be writing someone to, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you might in, deal with this. You might let spirit deal with it by you not getting aggressive and reacting in the typical way that an Aries would react. I feel like you guys are like writing to, like you are like writing to a um, a news or something like that. Like you guys might be taking receipts or something and reporting this organization to like the news or something. And y'all normally don't even be doing no snitch ass shit like that. But it's like normally I would crack y'all bitches in y'all fucking skull. But I can't do that shit this way. I'm about to study the law and figure out the right, the appropriate way to do this. How do I get, I feel like media attraction. Y'all want to get media attraction 
at the fact that these people are like you guys might go and blast these people online like the three of hearts like this is a brand new love do you understand what i'm saying like this is a brand new love like this whoever this person is this person really knows you. I really do feel like this person loves you. This person keeps you balanced. This person keeps you balanced. But it also just represents a third party situation. It's most definitely a third party situation. And someone is getting cut out. Because you love this one. With his little fat little chunky self. You love this one. Okay. You love this one down boost. This is a brand new love situation. And you got to stand your ground. Because you feel like this one about to amount to the marriage. And that's why Kali Ma is like listen. I am giving you the opportunity not to fuck this up. You have to finally get this person out of your life for good. Stop allowing this person to come in your life and wreak so much fucking havoc in your life. Like, I, you finally got love. What is this? And then the Joker again. The full card. Follow faith. Do you understand? Listen, with this one, this Joker card, you see the battle, the injury. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? Every time you fuck with this person... And you don't follow your heart. You don't follow your intuition. You are not trusting faith. You're not trusting God's hand when we're trying to lead you the right way. And you go back and fuck with this person. And you're not willing to change. You always get hurt. Do you understand what I'm saying? And this time I'm trying to tell you. It's going to hurt to get this person out of your life. But you will get the success and recognition and everything that you deserve. You're going to have to stand firm and fight. Like I told you, you are not backing down. You cannot back down because at the end of the day, you are going to be better for it. You're going to be better for it. You're going to end up the hero at the end of the story. At the end of the story, the hound was the fucking hero for me. He protected Arya. Listen, this nigga protected Arya the whole fucking show did he not did he not at the end of the slow <laughs> yeah aria fucking slayed down the goddamn uh uh the night king what aria ain't scared of no motherfucking body what get the fuck out of here y'all already know how we going down kalima kalima shakti dead listen death comes in many faces what Death comes in many motherfucking faces out this bitch. And whoever this person is, this person's time is up, regardless if they like it or not. Regardless if they like it or not. If Aries is not strong enough to pull this person out of their life, Kali gonna come and snatch this person out, regardless if Aries gonna do. So Aries, you can listen. Or you don't have to listen. Or this is someone dealing with the Aries and you're cross watching and you're watching this. And this is this person right here. Is, is the Aries in your life? You already know. You know what I'm saying? Because there are people that cross watch. All right? And they're watching because they're dealing with the Aries. Take the reading how it resonates. And only take what resonates, you guys. And, of course, the reading can be vice versa. If I read in the female energy, it can be taken in the male energy or whatever. So, um, let's get the tea. Give me guidance right here in regards to this Nine of Cups. And this Seven of Coins. A letter crossroads so you guys are going to be communicating to someone that y'all are in a crossroads like you don't you in a crossroads <laughs> okay so you're going to <laughs> like I said, you sitting in the library, you studying on what to say, <laughs> okay? So you're going to communicate with this person by letter, by some type of electronic communication, have it be Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, Messenger, text message, shit, even a mail, postcard, don't matter, okay? You ain't going to say it to their face. But you basically about to let this person know, like, look, I'm tired of being in this crossroads with you. We've been going over these obstacles for four or five years too long too many you know what i'm saying like i need to pick a decision where i'm going and i'm and i'm really i'm ready to like get over this mountain and um i I'm, you know i found somebody that i really love and that really loves me i found new love you know what i'm saying so and Someone, I feel like this is someone where you can be yourself. You can be yourself. And it's like, I don't want to continue to keep dealing with you. And 
the more and more I leave you in my life and I can I continue to communicate with you in any form of fashion, you're not doing nothing but causing confusion and putting delays in me actually being able to receive true love. And you're the blockage, you're the delay in my life. And I feel like we, you know, uh, you know, we might need to go our separate ways because I'm tired of this challenge. I'm tired of this. You know, and you're not giving me the recognition. You're not giving me the reward that I want. You know, so shit. You didn't. If you were, this person wouldn't be around. Cause clearly, I feel like this nine of cups. This is someone who was single that was left alone. You know what I'm saying? This is someone who, in their heart, they felt like they were single because this person. It's constantly in and out of their life. And they've been hurt by this person many times. Give me guidance on Jamie. The whip. Yeah, like, this has been, like, an abusive relationship. Like, it's been an addiction. Like, this, like, there's an ex sexy, oh, not sexy. Yeah, this per. I feel like this person's looks. It's this person's looks. This person's sex appeal. Um, Y'all have intense arguments. Y'all have... Okay, sorry. Y'all have intense arguments. Y'all have intense sex. I mean, y'all's whole relationship has just been fucking intense and just full of conflict. And you're tired of fucking suffering. You know, you're tired of suffering. Um, let me see. Yeah. You really do. It's like you want peaceful harmony. You want commitment. You want, you know, you want something that, um... You want something that's going to stand the test of time. And you had this sudden arrival come into your life. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's time. You know, the ship has sailed. You know what I'm saying? Like, these lilies can represent, like, the flowers someone puts on a grave site. You know what I'm saying? Like, the situation has kind of grown old. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, it's been abusive. It's been, you know, it's been a lot. It's been a lot. This situation has grown old and the ship has sailed. The ship has sailed. You know what I'm saying? And they know that this is a wise thing to do. It's time to move on. It's time to move on. Like, y'all are definitely communicating and letting this person know all of the mental abuse that they have experienced and the suffering that they've experienced from this person throughout these years. And this ship is sealed. I'm moving on. Give me guidance about this to your hearts and this Joker card and this temperance. Yeah, the journal. Yeah. I feel like this relationship is being hidden from this person because they know that they will try to come through and sabotage it. You know what I'm saying? And it also means studying means, you know, this means wealth, this means health, this means, you know, money, fish, hmm. means success, yeah, it's sickle, so, and what is else, this, this was, what is this, what is this, the garden, yeah, communication again, so, yeah. I feel like this has been a secret. This has been a secret that this person has been holding that they've met someone else. They met someone else. They feel like this encounter is fortunate is very fortunate. Like koi fish. You ever seen a koi fish pond? It's just like such a beautiful, blessed thing. It's a very healthy relationship. Very abundant. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like this person is glad that they're communicating with you that they're cutting out the old to bring forth the new. You know what I'm saying? And this is something that they have to communicate with you because they want to be in a comfortable environment. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, you're being cut out for the good. And this person is going to let this secret out to you in a, in a place where you... 
I feel like they feel like this Aries or the, or the Aries feels like this person that they're dealing with may possibly explode. So I feel like that's why they're having this communication with them in a shape, fashion, or form where they feel comfortable. And it could be online because I feel like this person does has no idea that they're about to be cut out. Yeah, the light. You have clear vision. It's just like, I want better. I want better. And me and Kylie are friends. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to be on the wrong side of her. She ain't about to put my motherfucking head on her goddamn necklace and shit. Listen, I'm getting all the fulfillment of the wishes of everything that I've been praying for. Like, I've, I've seen the light. Like, listen, I've allowed this person to be in my life and me not stand up on my ground and and take authority in the situation for a long time i didn't want to see the truth and i see it now because i really do feel like kali being shown to aries open up their eyes and they're like you know what you right and i really don't want you coming in here fucking up shit for me and uh, you know what i'm saying like please no i want i want me and you to be i want me and you to be cool you just chill out you just chill out. I got this. I got this. You know what I'm saying? You right. I wasn't taking authority and I really wasn't trying to see the truth and things. You know what I'm saying? This person doesn't mean me any good. And even though the sex is good and everything, it's just not worth it. Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this. And they will manifest physically. So for some of you guys, like, you haven't met your soulmate yet. You got to cut this person out for you to... For this person to come in your life. If you don't already know this person. And it says a message for you. I am thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Wow. So listen. This says I don't even think that you guys have met this new person yet. I feel like Kali is trying to tell you. I have something for you on the other side of this transition. I need you to listen to me and stop being hard-headed. I am giving you another chance to do what I need you to do. I need you to listen. I need you to listen to me. Cut this person out before I fucking cut you. So you know, let me stop. Kali not going to cut you, but like for real, I feel like... Something is going to happen that's going to break your heart. Like, seriously. Do you hear me? Seriously. And you're going to wish you would have just listened and walked away when she told you to. It's you're going to be forced. You're going to be forced. You're going to get hurt in an imaginable way. Like, I feel like this person is going to hurt you again. And it's going to cut you so deep judgment judgment there is karmic balance that has to be done here do you understand you are being called okay judgment judgment okay you are having you are being lifted you are being resurrected like the situation is being resurrected because you have to Make your final judgment. The Queen of Swords in reverse. It's like, I understand that this might be hard for you and it's confusing and you don't know what to do and you don't know what decisions to make and you can't see things clearly right now. And I really do feel like this is something that you don't want to do. But at the end of the day, you're going to have to look forth and see the truth in this situation or whatever because you are being called to make a judgment call on this situation and Kali is watching to see what you do and her watching to see what you do is going to determine how she reacts to you okay so let's see give me guidance in this love situation what's going to happen this judgment clarify this judgment this soulmate this judgment Yeah, the hat. Yeah. Listen, a brand new role is being given to you. Listen, you got to understand. You got to understand. It looks like 
marriage and commitment is coming your way. This 666 is in the reverse because you look at this in a bad way. This says raise your vibration and choose peace and harmony in your thoughts and with others. Stop choosing chaos. I feel like you guys choose chaos because y'all like danger. You guys like playing with danger. Like the safe route be boring to y'all. You know what I'm saying? But you need to raise your vibrations and also stop looking at shit so negatively. You know what I'm saying? Please raise your vibrations. Because when you, when you look at things differently, you'll be able to make better decisions. And you'll be able to look at things in a, in a different way. What it says, love. Does that look Cupid? I'm trying to tell y'all, like, she is trying to give you love. She's trying to show you love. She is waiting on you. And she is watching you to see how you react and you respond to this, Aries. What is this? Loyalty. Are you going to choose someone that's not loyal to, to you? Because that ugly duckling grew up to be a swan. Are you going to continue to choose someone that is not loyal to you? Or are you going to cut them out and stop being so hospitable? Do you understand? Stop feeding this person bread. Stop feeding this monster. Do you understand? She is trying to give you love. We need you to raise your vibration and choose peace and harmony in your thoughts and with everything. It's time for you to see this new role. You guys, I will be right back. Right, so I'm back. I'm back. All right. So let's get some clarification on that from my love Oracle deck. All right. So once we cut all this stuff out, mm, see that devil card it was a addiction, honey. It was an addiction. You were bound. You couldn't let that one go, honey. You were like, oh. The way that look. Don't nobody say that now. Nothing. That one say that now. Nada. Honey. <laughs> Give me guidance. What's coming up for love once we stop being so hospitable to this person? How we need to let go? Our addiction. What's going to happen to us in love? Stop settling. Realize that's childish. Ooh. A lot of, yeah, I'm saying that's childish. And then they go to inner child. You letting, yeah. Unawakened. Good gracious. I was asking, what's going to happen after? Not all of this shit. What is this? Recognition in reverse. All right now. Yeah, I already know that. What is this? Solitude. Divine timer. Okay, listen. All right. Well, I guess you all wanted to say what y'all wanted to say. Okay, now listen. So this is what we got. So, you have to stop settling for this person's behavior, for this person to just like come in and just bring you all this hardship and all this trouble and all this drama. Like, you have to make changes. That's why I spent so many fives in your reading. You know what I'm saying? The five of diamonds, the five of spades. You know, uh, you know. 5 plus 5 equals 10, which is the tennis sport. You know what I'm saying? Like, the thoughts and the memories that's been plaguing your mind, I feel like that you've been holding on. You have to stop settling. You have to wear a different role. Like it says, you have to raise your vibration and choose peace and harmony and stop settling because you know that you deserve better. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's time for you. And then you see the little bear there you know what I'm saying so this could be someone that you know since childhood or this is someone that you just felt a level of comfort you know what I'm saying because you know that this person will always be back or you know I don't know or maybe you just know sexually that you just had a comfort there you know I just I don't know but wherever the comfort lies also where lied a lot of toxicity and a lot of setbacks and a lot of barriers and a lot of blockages. Clearly right here, this mountain, it caused a lot of blockages. And you had to stop settling for that. And that's why you're being called to make a judgment call. And stop being so childish and holding on to something that you don't relate to anymore. Like you don't relate to anymore. This person is unawakened. This person does not have the same sense of values that you have. And that's why you are going to stop being so hospitable to this person. And you are going to stop recognizing this person. You're going to stop giving them that recognition that you've been yearning for. As Like I told you, that six of spirits up there. You're not going, this ship has sailed. 
You know, you're not feeding that monster. This person does not provide any loyalty to you. And they're not as hospitable to you as you are to them. So what, what, what benefit would it be to you to continue to feed this monster? You'll rather be alone. And that's what this Aries is learning. Or that's what this person is learning that is dealing with this Aries. You know what I'm saying? It's time to stop feeding a monster. And the time is now. The time was a long ago because things will never be perfect in this scenario. Do you understand? There will never be a perfect time. Like things will never be right here. It will never be right. There is no divine timing. There is no perfect time. The time is now. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's no need to wait. There's no need to hesitate. From death comes rebirth. From death comes rebirth. Comes new creation. Come new blessings. Allow the blessings that Spirit is trying to come to you, come to you freely, you know? So, and it's saying that your soulmate is already with you in spirit. A lot of y'all, y'all haven't even met this person yet. This one, y'all haven't met him yet. It says this person is with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Your true soulmate. Your true soulmate. Believe this. And they will manifest. Magically. And this is a message from your soulmate. Because this person is on their way to you. But you have to trust Kali. And she's telling you to cut this person out. She She's not trying to hurt you. But she will hurt you. But it's for your better good. You understand what I'm saying? She gonna come through and spank that ass and teach you a motherfucking lesson that you're going to do what I say regardless if you like it or not. I'm giving you a choice where you could decide how things go down. You don't want me to step in because then you're gonna hate me. But then at the end of the day, you're gonna realize that I did it and then you're gonna thank me. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna hate me, but then you're gonna thank me. And then I'm gonna remind you that you had your chances. I didn't have to do this. I didn't have to do this. Everything is up to you. You have to choose. You have to make decisions in your life. All right, give me some the last spread, and then we up out of here. All right, give me guidance for my Aries. What is this? The High Priestess. It's time to solitude. It's time to take your power back. It's time to, like, really study your powers study your gift okay sometimes it's best to be alone because that's when you really get to tap into yourself and really get to go through that soul's journey experience and really understand the path that you're being led on why you're being led on this path what your new role is because i'm trying to tell you you have a new role in life there's a new role in your life that you have to play there's a new hat that you have to wear temperance you have to have balance you have to have faith you have to be committed to this journey and this process and you can't let little stupid stuff come and get in the way and cause unnecessary drama and blockages and delays when we have so many blessings ahead of us do you understand what i'm saying hmm. again i say kalima kalima shakti day it's up to you, baby. I think you want to be on the right side of her. You want her to be your friend. This is the death card. This is the transition card. With life come new rebirth. Aries, this has been your reading. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I know I damn sure enjoyed it. Because y'all know I love you. If you guys want to book a personal private reading, if you have any questions or concerns, and you just want to holler at me, make sure you email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. If you want to book a reading, um, click the about tab and follow the instructions from the beginning of the video. Peace.